Welcome back. Heroes I of Elurin. Hey. You have just completed <laughs> your first night. Some of you had a more successful evening than others. Yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. Went very well, with some surprises in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good ones, mostly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mixed bag, mixed bag. And then some of the rest of you had your first night of drinking, and you've had to take more than your usual four hours to get through this evening. Some of you investigated a book, some of you ate fish and got a little bit creepy following some of your friends. Yeah. Just, you know, maybe not creepy. You know what, curious? Yes. About the world and the Why way not? things work it's and what absolutely. people look like without their pants on. <laughs> absolutely. Who Doesn't isn't every curious? Everybody wants to know. Right? Uh, some of you no attempted. No surprises here. No surprises, none whatsoever. Yeah, it went kind of like everyone expected. Yep. <laughs> um, but overall, all in all, you made a new friend. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the last member of your group, Alany, Ranger, tracked Zup through the streets of Valyrian, chased him, hit him with an arrow, followed the blood trail into those tunnels beneath the Council Palace that oh. you'd heard about. Snaked your way through them and came up right underneath the dungeon where the cells are. And you found an injured doggo. <laughs> and you nursed him back to health with a quick healing potion. And they, you've had to carry one and the other one has followed you all the way back to the inn where you all went for a sleep. You've regained your hit points. You've regained your spell slots. Not many of you are, are awake when the rooster calls to let us know that the sun is coming up. And then, even fewer of you are even still awake as the sun comes up proper, and it's day in Elurin. And then... Oh, it's gonna suck for tips. I feel just fine. How are you doing that, tips? For those of you, as you all come downstairs, breakfast of the Lazy Bee is out. Aurora is happily moving around. She looks even better than ever. <laughs> Glowing. There's eggs, soft cheese, bread, cups of hot tea available. Mm. If you're interested in breakfast here at the Lazy Bee. Mm. Today you are gonna start the day with a point of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna roll a disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Oh, exhaustion. One point. Mm -hmm. And now, it in the nose. Uh, okay. And maybe, maybe the next time, uh, you might approach the uh, night of drinking with a, with a bit of a smarter, sharper mind. You've gained some important knowledge about the effects of drinking that much. So we're going to work our way around the table, and you can let let us all know what it looks like as you approach breakfast at the Lazy Bee. Uh, when we get to Rurik, I'm gonna give you a quick note before you head downstairs. So, starting with Seno, and working our way around the table, you're heading down, you might be one of the earlier risers. Yeah, Seno heads down for breakfast. Uh, I mean, he looks surprisingly fine considering everything. You know, he stayed up a little later reading the book, but uh, got a good night's rest after that before everyone else was awake, and uh, you know, he's sitting down, he's got a nice big uh, greasy classic breakfast, he's got some sausages, he's got some eggs, he's got some potatoes, a uh, big glass of juice, and uh, some coffee. Orange juice and coffee together? Yeah, yeah you don't drink them at the same time. <laughs> You can come down and question him about it when you're there. You get your vitamins back up. Have you never had a hangover before? You <laughs> no. Worst. Okay. Paladins. Sanguina. It's the light of the day. You cross by any of the windows with your... I'm hiding behind the curtains of the windows and I just yank them shut aggressively. And I pull my hood up and I have fish all over my face because I fell asleep <laughs> on it the night before. <laughs> still have a yeah, like, taste of fish in my mouth. <laughs> I just didn't, I don't want it now. I just don't want anything to do with fish. It was a mistake. And um, I'm just in a bit of a sour mood. And uh, I didn't get to see my peep show. It was all coming back to me the night. And I turn around and I, I open the door and I head downstairs and I'm in my cloaked, hooded shadows just with a scowl. And I have my teeth hidden and my eyes are just faintly glowing red. And I kind of start stomping down the stairs and I'm heading towards Seno to take a seat. 
Hello, friends. Uh, morning, Snow. Morning. How was your night? My night? You know, not as good as some people's nights, but uh, I spent a good night with the book, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you Intimate know, times with the book, you, I see. You look a little worse for wear, considering you weren't, you know, drinking with uh, the rest of us so oh, much. Oh, I just... I mean, we, we had a very long day yesterday. We did. Yeah, I do think... You might need to splash a little water on yourself. And, oh, it's the, you know, the cod, right? Oh, the pike. Yeah. It's the pike. It's a li little bit fishy. You're a little sparkly with some scales. Oh. Uh, you know, doesn't, doesn't smell as the best. Look, oh, that's fine. That'll take care of itself later on in the day. I sit down and I dip my uh, my hand into some of Seno's orange juice and I start just wiping the fish <laughs> off of my face. You know what? Take the whole thing. I was about to just throw the whole oh, no, thing on you. Oh, no, it's fine. I can and take it And then I was myself. like... People might be upset if I just <laughs> stop <laughs> throwing juice on people, right. but uh, I'll just yeah. take that. Thank so you much. just have it, and I take a sip and I dip my hand in, and I'm sipping and I'm wiping at the same time. Yeah, I think that's really oh, gonna that's help. Why I can't have children. <laughs> okay, really good so help. that happened, and then upstairs before you head down, <laughs> mm. um, are you still? Which room are you in? Oh, I stayed in her room. Okay. Yeah. After that much exercise, you just want to crash. Sure, you fell asleep. <laughs> she... <laughs> Paul, two minutes. So mature. Exercise. Uh, exercise. Guys, it was, it was magical. Yeah. So... <laughs> there were magic butterflies and everything. And illusions. It was a spectacular night. Yeah. You are... That was... Yeah. 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 You, when you wake up, she's already gone. Um, you notice that all of your stuff has been piled very neatly. You're a little bit suspicious that you'd put the bag of holding down and it is moved and still open. It's like wide open. Rifling through that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is there anything missing? Perception? Or investigate? Perception. However, you're going to do it. Perception sounds better. This is why I give you uh, nothing. I like the one I have more. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, 12. You don't notice anything missing. Yeah. All right. And you head downstairs yeah. with that thought in it, with you. Put all my clothes on well. first. <laughs> yes, please. Up to uh, you. <laughs> all right. So you get dressed. You bring all of your stuff with you. It's not your room. Did you want to leave anything upstairs or in the room that you were given a key for? Oh. Or do you want to just head back down to the group? Yeah, I just don't want to treat her like a prostitute. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to go down. I'm actually going to ignore the group and go to Aurora. Okay. Where she is busy... Pouring fresh cups of tea for another group. Oh, okay. Morning. Morning. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you for a lovely evening. Um, Back at you. I uh, I think I dropped my bag and might have spilled some stuff on the ground. Did you happen to see anything? Uh, it did, and it sort of tumbled over in the midst of, you know, when we got up and then we were on the other part of the room? Yeah. And, um, oh, yeah. And then the furniture... Thing happened. Um, yes, we sort of knocked mess. Yeah, some of your other <laughs> things over, um, and a bunch of stuff had fallen out, and it was way more than usually would fit into there. Like letters, there's um, a lot of pornography in there, which oh. while fun, <laughs> um, it was a little bit. Like, there's a story behind okay. that, which I'd be happy to tell you. But I mean, you're working. Maybe later tonight if we come back here. Um, Sounds great. But did uh, but everything do. make its way back? Into the bag? Yes. Uh, my apologies. I realized once I started going through to put everything, trying to... It fits a lot. It's a yeah. magic bag of holding. Yes, it is. And it's not just my stuff in there. It's mm -hmm. the whole mm -hmm. group's stuff. So I just wanted to make sure I had everything. I wasn't quite sure. You are welcome to come upstairs later and do a thorough check. Oh. Gee. I, I do have a job to do, but... That's definitely on my list. Um, can I just can I uh, roll <laughs> to see if she's telling the truth about everything being in the bag? Yeah. Uh, ring of truth telling, so advantage. Nat twenty. Yo. Oof. She is telling the truth that everything is back in the bag, but she definitely went through everything. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. There's not too many secrets on there. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, well, um, I see you have, is there anyone in your shop? 
Oh, you guys are over towards the bar area. Uh, so I don't know how close everyone's paying attention. So I don't I'm know. Listening. Seno's listening. <laughs> We're listening. <laughs> Not you hang out with a bunch of listening. gossipy gossips. <laughs> All right. So you'd have to whisper quite... A little t- jealous. Yeah. So <laughs> I see that you have your illusion back up. Oh, yes. She appears completely lovely, human, I contained. Um, I just want you to know that it saddens me that you feel you have to do that. And me too. That you're beautiful the way you are. She <laughs> plants a big kiss right on you in front of everybody. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be over here. We've, we've got stuff to do, but I'll talk to you later. And, uh, Alan, Alan the door e. opens from his bedroom and pop runs out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Really close behind me. Oh, they stay, they are right beside you the right whole time. Me. I, I just start coming down the stairs, rubbing, patting them. Morning, everybody. Wait, what? What are you yes. <gasps> Right. Are those the. You got uh, some puppets? I guess. Um, How did you do jungle, that? Jungle, jungle, jungle. <laughs> Figured I'd pick them up on my way out of the castle last night. Oh. Um, oh, right. You went after, what? I guess you were. the castle? Yes. By yourself. How did you yes. know? Yes. <laughs> so uh, I followed yes. up last night, so, put a couple of arrows in Just them. while you're telling the story and the puppies, because you hear barks and woofs and little, like, the noise of the dogs in the hallway, which would cause you to come right after. You're still... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's dogs. Oh, my God. Oh, there's dogs. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh my god, I didn't sleep a goddamn fucking wink. I'm just, I just can't believe I just, I can't believe I said that. I should, I should have just said yes to the wine. Anyways, I'm just gonna, and I'm naked. Um, okay. Lurch of shame. Get <laughs> back in my common clothes. Not ready for armor yet. I'm for coffee first, and then I'll open the door, and I'm like, okay, peppers, peppers, peppers. Oh my god, maybe they won't say anything. Okay, that's great. That's great. And so you, as you head down, you are right behind Alani, as he, and so you hear as he begins to. <laughs> Yes, yes, I rescued the puppies. You can pet the puppies. Yes. There you go. Those well, aren't really puppies. Uh, no, they're not at all, actually. No. I mean, all I dogs are puppies. I mean, I, I agree with that. Um, but look, I... Uh, so, wait. Where I hunted down Zup last yeah. night, put a couple of arrows in his leg, followed him into some tunnels, found those uh, thieves' tunnels that we were looking for. Oh. Wait just one second. You went alone. Yeah, you guys said don't let him get away, and I that was my damnedest. And me. Thank you. Uh, sorry. You could have died. I forgot. I didn't realize. I, I saw them not be able to. Well, he puked. He went he upstairs did. and had sex. Oh, I did. <laughs> so hold um, on a second. I, I was that. hunting <laughs> Zup through the entire fucking city. He was hunting Europe. something else. I, I found my prey. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Very successful hunt. We yeah. can all tell. Yeah. I think the whole town was difficult Sorry to about sleep. that, guys. Should have cast silence. Um, <laughs> so, uh, why that happened, thank you for doing it. I'm glad you're okay. Um, uh, the book. Do you have the book? Yeah, I got the book. I spent some time studying it. So, uh, remember when Zup wrote our names down in that book? Mm. Um, I got him to pull it out, and d- <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then I I detected to see if it was magic or not, and it was, and I stole that fucker's book, and then I threw it in the fire, and <laughs> it's covered in this really creepy the little mouse. So wait, did you bullies up and I shot him with arrows because you? Uh, I yeah, but it's okay <laughs> because the book is fucking creepy as fuck. Yeah. And says, he's like, gonna... if you apply a bit of heat to it, all through it uh, is in Goblin, which yeah, is a little, little odd. It says, the little mouse came from, came from far to find the key and plays a part. When the flash of daggers shine, I'll kill them all and take what's mine. I'll kill them all. So I think that he was writing our names down. He was really insistent on getting full names and that he was had some sort of magic over us. So. That is probably true. A couple of things I noticed yeah, last except night that you might be curious your, about. Your, your magic thing said it was only illusions. There was no other magic in the book. So, mm. uh, but right. in in studying it last night, I did. I was. I'm pretty sure that the writing in Goblin is the same person as the rest of the writing, which means that 
Zup is writing it. Well, I don't think you're wrong about that. So, chasing Zup last night, he cast quite a couple of interesting spells to get away from me. So he's definitely a magic wielder, seemingly using illusions. But I, he was, he knew those thieves' tunnels like the back of his hand. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, that was the person, the person who released the banshees was using those tunnels to get That's away. Right. That's very true. Bro. And I have to say that Zup didn't have daggers. I followed him right into the castle. Yeah, but he wrote about daggers. That's right. Look, mm-hmm. if he's good at illusion spells, he can make it look like he's wearing a... a like taller, he's got a cloak on, he's got daggers, and then look all fancy the next minute. Well, then what was he doing getting a drink with Kaleva in the first place? Yeah, it's cover story. I mean, That's a little strange. if you're casting an illusion, you gotta play the part. Yeah. yeah, it's not like he's walking around being like, hello guys, I'm actually a magic rogue. Yeah. But no, well, it's also just like weird to go out with your father's henchman lackey type, no? Maybe, maybe oh, beneficial. No. I think she might. He's chief archivist. It's not exactly henchman lackey person. Yeah. But one more thing. Also, remember, he was a friendly guy. I wanted to like him. Now I'm gonna have to slit his throat. Well, maybe you. Yeah, I don't know. That got very dark. I don't we like guys... it when I have to slit throats of people that I thought I liked. But, but Senna, you know, perhaps you can help on this because last night. Right. We were talking to the uh, thieves guild, and they told us that when they were trying to hunt him, he just kept disappearing. Evasive maneuvers. I yes. got into the. I followed him right up into the castle, and then he was just gone. Nothing. Yeah. Like it's definitely nothing. Him. That's the reason why Nightjar and all the other uh, rogues well, that are got, running around here haven't been able to get. We've a got to tell Kaleva. Well, we, there are plenty of things that we're supposed to be telling Kaleva. Speaking of which, and while you stare at Aaron, and she. Apparently, ma- does not make eye contact back. Did Why, you? What happened the monk Kaleva? joins not the table. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fun, that's for sure. Yeah, I saw her walking away. I, I, it's just a little, it's a little messy in here, you guys. It's a little messy. I'm not ready. Not ready for what? She wasn't asking your hand in marriage. You need that. hurry. Come on. Right. You know the things that you could have accomplished. I gotta go put my armor on. Oh, fuck hey, tips. How are you? So, uh, the paladin storms away from the table as the monk arrives. So I come down. Uh, I'm hugging my spear <laughs> tightly. Uh, I go to the uh, the t- table with all the the food on it. I grab a plate and I put like like some salad on it. And then uh, I'm like, and then I look at the giant plate of sausages. And I'm like, and I put a couple of sausages on the plate. And then I smell those. And then I take the whole plate of sausages and I put my plate down and I make my way over. Yo, Elendar, um, you should probably drink some orange juice. <laughs> yeah, not this one, though. <laughs> no, that's good. Her fish fingers have been all in it. Yeah. Get your own. Um, did he get, did he get drunk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, real drunk. What? Puked all over people. Yeah. It was... Aaron, Kaleva, and the inside of his mask is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All the good Jeez. stuff. Hilariously yeah, embarrassing. Was, I but yelled, Kubinari, don't let him get away, and then that happened, and then please I stop, didn't realize... Please, please stop talking. You know, mate, you should have some hair of the dog. Yeah. Not these dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have another there's drink. the dog sitting with him now. <laughs> I take one of the sauce, sausages and... Yeah? No. <laughs> the, dog, the dog jumps up and snacks it right out of your fingers. I call, Aurora, can we have, uh, do you have whiskey? <laughs> just, just a little bit of whiskey? Of course we do, Seto. I think Uh-oh. that we need a bit of uh, coffee and whiskey for our monk friend here. Wait, can I also Aaron get a comes rare running down the stairs, did someone say coffee? And yes. Brilliant. Anybody else? Yes. Rare, rare steak. No, thank you. Of, sure. You know what? Coming right up. Thank you so much, my dear. I, uh, I'm in my armor. I, uh, do you have a raw egg and some hot sauce for this guy? Jesus. <sighs> uh, so everyone's like pitching things to, <laughs> to feed me, and they're like sh- shouting and calling out for it. I'm just like, <sighs> yeah. And I uh, cast an aura of silence around it.
they crowd around shouting things at you. They're shoving stuff towards you. What would be good to try? Everybody's got different suggestions. They put weird things into other things. Um, some people, they, clearly some of the magic users might be trying to offer like a magic thing because you see like, you know, the way that they're moving their arms. Um, Alany is just kind of looking at you like, you're fucked, mate. <laughs> that I understand. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, what's the plan for the day, kids? I yeah. just smell. I just smell right. it. Uh, so one more thing. When we were all sitting, I told some of them this last night, but uh, honestly, they were in no condition to help. So I'm gonna tell you two because you're the more helpful people. Mm. Uh, I'm helpful. I was covered in vomit. Not helping. Yeah. So while we were, you know, you were getting your flirt on and you were not getting your flirt on uh, and I was getting your flirt on for you. Uh, I had some more thoughts, not so much my thoughts, but someone was speaking in my mind again. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, it really hurt this time. It was like, grating headache, uh, quite painful. Really? Was uh, that when Zub was here? Uh, yeah, totally was. Um, this doesn't sound great. I said something kind of to the effect of uh, yeah, telling me that if, if my favor tastes so much like ash on your slippery tongue, maybe the warlock in your mist would make a better partner for this tango, which sounds like Lines got crossed and he was not supposed to be talking to me. And I was sitting beside Zup, so maybe I heard what was talking to Zup. Or maybe it was just some random thing, because, you know, demons talk to me sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could you uh, say it again? Slow? One word. No, not the, not the thing that the voice said. It's say the thing again where you said demons talk to you. No, 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 no. forget no, no, that. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, not always demons. Sometimes devils, what? sometimes <laughs> just, you know. Yeah, the bone <laughs> devil last time. Is there a psychiatric you know, okay. facility Wait, around here? It when when there's things around that like to talk in the minds, they tend to do that. It, so no, what you know, it I'm, it I'm might a receptive have been trying guy, to talk to me. And I look at you and you hear me just talk straight into your mind without my uh, mouth moving. And all of you fucks oh. are afraid of and me. And I tell you, I'm like, you know, you really need some more greasy food and you should really get into that uh, whiskey and coffee. It'll help. But like, that was just broadcast in. I your just mind go while I'm talking to them about also stuff. What did it say again? Uh, right. It said, "God damn it! If my favor tastes like so much ash on your slippery tongue, maybe the warlock in your midst would make a better partner for this tango." Maybe Kaleva was supposed to go back to your room and clearly not mine. Um, no, I think that just sounds like you're all trying to get out of something. You what yeah, I think so. I mean, it's possible that because Kaleva was here as well. Maybe it was what talking to her. What did the voice sound like? It sounded like ouchie. He just said. It was... Technical. Yeah, a very powerful voice. It like, grated on my brain almost. Like, <laughs> it was very difficult. It, there's a possibility it was trying to talk to me, but this ring prevented it. Whoa. Anything? You hear nothing. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, I don't know why I'd be trying to talk to you either. I um, mean, it sounds does like it sound something. like the last time I had someone talking to me in my head. Not identical. The voice is different, but the feeling was similar. Okay, it's very similar. More to intense. The, more powerful. It's like the bone devils that talked to us last time. Uh, it was not Pavel. And, yeah, not Pavel. Uh, not yeah, Pavel. Yeah. The secret eater. Yeah, right. and and then it said like there's a more powerful one and yeah. stuff. This was a lot more powerful, but similar. <sighs> all right, no, I think no matter what, Zap is definitely at the center of all of this and potentially have some answers for us. I'd like to take you where I found him last night, show you the tunnels, and maybe you can find something in there. The magic he was using, something to let help you us. You also find recall, him. and you haven't relayed to them yet, but as everybody's divulging information, that you had a quick conversation yesterday with a child, a young teenager who came to find you. Right. And he let you know also about having witnessed the cloaked figure with yes. the daggers. 
Yes, I totally forgot about this. There were so many things that happened last night. Yeah, it was a lot. But <laughs> while you guys were drinking, a teenager came in to the tavern and uh, pulled us aside. He told us a sad story about his young brother dying recently of whatever disease is plaguing these people. From yeah. the well. It was from the well. Yeah, probably. That's what he said. Right? But he had said that his younger brother had seen the cloaked figure, who I believe is Zap. Yeah, I'm just thinking that way. And Might not be, but I'm leaning that way. That cloaked figure was speaking with the blacksmith. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, Jenny. Jenny the blacksmith. Yes. That's right. Potentially to get blades or things of that nature, but there might be information there as well that we could use. Okay. Sounds like hey, another Aurora. group splay, guys. Oh, um, Jenny? Jenny the blacksmith. Jenny Hoop. Jenny, Jenny Hoop? Hoop? Yes, she runs the Jade Forge. Oh. Over oh. in the corners. In the corners. Okay. Oh, uh, right. Thank you. Okay. No. Was she close to the uh, pastry place? It's right across the street from Fun Intended. Oh, Fun Intended. Know exactly you know, uh, Jenny and Olavi, they're just always fighting. Who? Olavi, the baker. Olavi. All right. He's a dwarf. Well, Am I like him? Are oh. they together? They should be. Oh, cute. <laughs> right. Why not make a recommendation then? I need uh, Seno to detect the magic where Sup disappeared on me last night. Can you and that? Yeah, I can't cast detect magic, well, but I, mean, I can investigate arcane scenes. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I think can it was used. You can cast the detect magic. So can I. Oh. <laughs> but somebody should question this blacksmith as well. I mean, I could probably do that. Um, I'll come with you. I'm, you know, can common some, ground. Uh, blacksmith. Who here can cast sausages? I Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> or Toivo, I mean. You should uh, probably stay here. You want me to pack you a little, uh, a little lunch to go? A little doggy bag? Meat snack. Yes. Yes, I would like that. No problem. And she comes <laughs> back to the table with a little, uh, wrapped up in some brown paper with a little cute little bow tied it, a little, like, heart on it. You know, a little, like, cheersing beers mugs drawn on it. Super cute. I, I take it with two hands and I say, you provide bounties onto your people. <laughs> this guy. First time drunk. Did and you write I, down and I just Bumble hug it. fail on the package? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then she gets to take your lunch. And she also drops magic? off for you. All right, if she detects magic, if Aaron can do that. I'll go talk to the blacksmith. And Rurik, yes, you go to the blacksmith. I'll come with you. Right. Sanguina. Blacksmith. And potentially, you might want to come with me if she detects the magic. Yeah, I think I'll come back. Yeah, That'd be good. Where do I go? I you want something beg. from the bakery? Oh yeah, come along. Treat for tips. We have to crawl through some Soak tunnels. up some of that stomach. Yeah. Is oh. that what's happening to me? Yeah, come to the bakery. You can go to the bakery or we'll go to the blacksmith. You feel like you're dying, but you're not. Just don't drink from the well. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So you guys have a plan. Before you head out, she drops off to Aaron. She's found a really nice ceramic mm. little vasy bowl thing that she's put your white wild rose into. So, Aaron, you're now still carrying around this. Oh, Does you want to leave that in your doll? room? Or you could put it in the bag. It's going to get smushed in the bag. Yeah, probably. Oh. Yeah, so there's a good chance it would die in his bag. That's you're true. Right. I mean, it might not be conducive to what we have to do right now. I <laughs> might steal it. No, you know what? Carry it, you're doing Carry it around, key. because if the Green Mother sees you with it and you don't see her, she might say friend. I don't know. Or kill you. Or kill you. Right. It sounds so easy, Seno. These are great options. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, what are we splitting into? We're going a group to the Palatinate District. Mm -hmm. To yep. the Council Palace. Fun intended. You are off to the corners. As am I. You are off to the corners to see the blacksmith across and, the street from the bakery. And my spear. <laughs> oh, keep it down. So, keep it down. No. I'm good. Right. I think it's all. You right. are also <laughs> trailing somewhat slower behind <laughs> them. Remember, he's got a belly full of sausage. I have two I have I have we'll start with Team Council Palace. All right. As uh, we walk up to the guard tower near the palace, I bring everybody over and like say, right over here, right, see this down here, this rock. Is it still 
It's now flush to the wall, it's now flush but it, you can push on it again okay. and it will move as a door. It's right here. Are you sure broad daylight is the best time to be using the tunnels if you know exactly where they lead inside the castle? Yes, I mean, we could do that, but I think maybe we will sense things that would be helpful through this entire journey just to trace the steps I took. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you, however, might struggle on this a little bit. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm very bendy. All right. <laughs> no one would know. Uh, <laughs> and then why don't you go first, and that way I can sort of push you. Through the hole. And you... No, nope, this is what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to lie on my back like a mechanic, and I'm just going to scoot my way along with my legs and my little flower right. body. You have to help. You have and, to help. I'm just going to put... There you go. Yep, yep. Get your armor nope. in that guy. Watch uh. your fingers, sir. And then, so she starts to kind of slide down through the first part of the tunnel. Take All right, Seno. Seno. Yeah. Still... Yeah, hit first. <laughs> just get in there. You've been crawling around in all sorts of weird tombs and stuff. Yeah, I've been spelunking a fair bit, so... You know. And once again, <laughs> just dive right in this time, <laughs> confident. Yeah. Um, and you guys land in the spot at the bottom where it's about, it's transitioning into the five foot tall area. So you have to slowly up on y'all. You're crawling a little bit, and then you move from crawling to a crouch. Are the dogs in there too? No. Aurora yeah. took care of the back of the tavern. All right. This way. Follow me here. All right, Oren, down around this way here, this is where you started losing me. So if you stop, can you sense any magic in this area already? I have a limited amount of times I can use this. How many times? Yeah, all right, six per long rest. All right, detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> so the, you guys You're are only gonna this, need it twice here. You guys are in the space right underneath where the opening is. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's cracked still slightly, so there's a smidgen sliver of light that comes down into the underground area here where you are. Why would the light matter? It just just letting you know what it looks like around you. For the plant. <gasps> Photos in the size. <gasps> All right. And then... So you set the plant down and then you... Yes, in the light. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I also haven't been completely honest with the two of you. Which means... I have divine sense, not detect magic, but it's pretty much the same thing, right? Right, here we go. I mean, it is absolutely not the same thing, and... <laughs> you, you all right? And? Do I detect any good or evil? No. <laughs> no, no, I got... Uh... Let's try for I definitely that. should have brought Rurik. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this time, uh, though, when you pick the plant up, your hand brushes the blossom at the top, and it's weirdly hard in the center. And you pull a petal off while you're doing that, and it seems as though there's just no petals gone. Something is freaky about this flower. Alani, what's your nature? I mean, it's pretty good. I'm a half orc. <laughs> I'm a half orc. Grew up in the woods. <laughs> can you can you can you snoop at her normative? Snoop the rose. All right, let's see if I know anything about this. I guess. Sure. Well, first of all, let's just take a good look at this here. No, 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 no. <laughs> you tell me to see what I see. This is how I see. It's no, no, <laughs> no. I, I, Pulled a petal off already. If you need to eat something, when you when you 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 were able to get close enough to it that you kind of got it, it just there's something really hard in the middle. No. What, what, what is this? Hold on. And I pull it. As you pull, all that comes away are a handful of petals, but it still looks like an intact white. Oh, I see. Flower this blossom. is not a flower. <laughs> I you, don't know what you this pull is. petals and this you pull petals and you pull petals and you're pulling and there's just like a pile of petals and they're still just the same. Can I take a look? Uh, mm -hmm. um, yes, please. Some sort of arcana check or something. Yeah. Good thing I brought the rose. 21. Nice. Uh, there's something going on. It's not something that you recognize or you've seen before. Okay, okay. It's very, very hard. You get the impression that you have Didn't to do the right you. thing in order to trigger the next event. Oh. Hello? <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk to it? 
No, it doesn't respond. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I think you said we should be less flagrant about carrying this around. Ah, I see. Let me see that. Oh! No, no. <laughs> no dick. You show the wall, the pot it's in smashes, <laughs> and it falls to the ground, and it's still a little root bundle and a long stem with a few leaves and the same white bud. I had to do so much fucking shit yeah. to get that pot, Eleni! <laughs> You're such a dick! I mean, yeah, actually, I, I, I look, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is not real. It's clearly not a real flower. It doesn't need a pot. So yeah, I think we should just hide it because some, this is a puzzle of some sort. We need to do something to get to what's so we're in there. So we're not going to leave it down here in this creepy uh, tunnel. Yeah, that's what you meant. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! <laughs> <laughs> he did it! Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so good at puzzles. Okay. No. Um, remember, remember what the book said in the Goblin. It said something about uh, to find the key and play the part. Now we got a thing that we got to do a bunch of puzzle stuff to get a piece that's inside. That seems mighty key-like to me. What if I show it some tasteful side mm, That's a very good point. <gasps> even tasteful side boob is not creative. I don't think even untasteful side boob would help <laughs> this situation. I we could have four joke, frontal and just a plant would... That's I a different mean, campaign. You know what? Let's try it. No, pass. Hard pass. <laughs> so no, that's a hard no. <laughs> While you are debating what to do here, and you can hear a bit of movement upstairs, we move to the corners. <clears throat> Where? As you approach, you see the well where you've been. Have you been to the well before? No. No. So you, you're Don't like, drink oh, from the, the well. well. Don't drink from the well. And then it's not too far from a place uh, of pastry selling where it smells amazing in the street here. But you also hear the clang of the blacksmith across the street. And in the street, yelling at each other are a very round, short dwarf man, and he's wearing a cute little white smock covered in jams and jellies and all sorts of things and a woman wearing a black leather uh, protective gear and she's human she has her hair up and it's all messy and knotted and her face is just smeared with all sorts of like black metal dust and her hands and fingernails are black and she's got a bunch of tools hanging around her belt and small hammers and chisels and they are just yelling at each other in the street. And you can hear him saying things like, it's all your fault, you've left the stuff as the, the metals and all the dead things and the sound from the bakery, I mean, from the blacksmith. <laughs> it's so noisy there. <laughs> Some bread rising. <laughs> and then she's yelling at him. She's like, you and your stupid baked some delicious <laughs> smelling bread. Excellent <laughs> smells. All of your gems. She had something. Over the, the yeast. <laughs> you and your really busy right. business. Right, yeah, yeah. Regardless, they're yelling at each other. <laughs> she had something. Whoa. Somewhere in the notes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. What's going on here? No, let's see how this plays out. All right. I'm, I'm already said it. I'm too no, late. You, you've, you've interjected. You're yeah. here. Jenny. He put a bunch of dead birds in a pie and what? left it on my shop. Oh, First this... step, people were terrified. It was disgusting. Uh, this is a feud. This is a serious And he, feud. he yells out from behind where you guys have kind of come into the middle of them. He's like, those birds are dead because her stupid blacksmith stuff killed them. What? How does that work? Is it because of the smoke? I understand. Okay. We, we might be able to fix this. We and might she's be able to just like, but that doesn't cause birds to die. No. Just, he's just stupid. <laughs> You're uh, stupid! I hate you so much! <gasps> what, uh, what kind of birds were they? I don't know. Do you want to eat the pie? Here! And she, like, shoves the pie in your face with just dead little bits of wings and beaks sticking out. Does it smell good? No. It smells awful. And she just throws it at your feet. Here, whatever, you can have it. This guy is a menace! Eleanor, why like, don't you talk to all of you? All of you, the bigger. Well, uh, we talk to Jenny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you pull them apart a little bit? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You deal with... with okay, so with, you're going to talk to Jenny first. Yeah. She's still, like, staring daggers over at the stupid 
things. Yeah, to, Jenny. Yeah. So uh, I, first of all, I agree that guy's probably an idiot because the smoke's not going to kill a bird. I ran a forge. I right? know that's not a thing. So yeah, He's fellow an blacksmith. Um, oh, hi, I'm Mark. Hi. hi, I'm Jenny. Uh, she, nice to meet you. I'm oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm Sanguina. Nice to meet you. Something um, wrong with you? No, it's fine. I just, I, 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 it was a lot of drinking last night. I'm just a little bit under the weather. I've drank a lot, and it doesn't cause that. No, I know. I'm just, I'm not. I'm so not you look really tall for a dwarf. Y- you yeah. Look really, really tall. Yeah, I know. Um, I get so that a lot. We come from a band of freaks. Happy misfits. Nothing to be concerned with. Anyways, yeah. we've been okay, well, for you. I'm gonna go back because I've got lots of stuff to do, and if. Oh. We actually have a question for I'm you. I'm not able to smack this guy. I, guess I was I'm... actually coming to see your forge. Oh, come on in. I, uh, all right. So just have a look in. This is the, and she leads you quickly inside. There's a really surprisingly organized and clean out side of the shop where there's a bunch of tools and some supplies where they probably lay stuff out sometimes when it's crowded and busy streets to have wares out for sale. Mm-hmm. And then she leads you quickly inside to a small, but very efficient looking space with a couple other blacksmiths and apprentices working away. Oh, wow. We have a beautiful a space. It's so organized and clean. Yeah. We can appreciate that. Surprising. It's the Jade Forge. I mean, we have to uphold our name. And I mean, the corners just fell apart a little bit, but it's home. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, what, what kind of stuff do you make here, mostly? Mostly tools. Mostly tools. Any kind of weapons ever? Of course, yeah, of oh, course, exactly. for everybody. Any kind of... S- I mean, I put a lot of work into making Kaleva's sword. Oh. I mean, she's very well known as being an expert. We've seen She's a sword. master of the longsword. She's well, extraordinary, the I've sword. I've seen her in quote-unquote action, and I wasn't that impressed, but... Um, oh, well, then you haven't really seen her in action. I guess that's We've seen her sword, though, and her sword is exemplary. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm very proud of it. Um, have you seen anyone recently or dealt with anyone recently that seemed a little suspicious? Mm. Yourselves. Oh. S- Have you sold something to anyone that seems suspicious within the last couple of days? When did the teenager say it was? Mm. Which what? The teenager said that. The, never mind. A teenager? No, I haven't seen any teenager. No, not no. Not no. A teenager. Um, a, someone who. A kept shorter themselves. stature. Someone of shorter stature who has. Like um, a dwarf? Uh, no. I mean, a usual dwarf, because you're a dwarf of unusual size. I am no, a I would say not a dwarf. Um, I maybe, what is he? I don't know. I, what, Nothing? Okay, I wasn't there for the teenager. What size did they say the person in the, the cloak? Uh, Regular think, size. Oh, I think he was a shorter. Really? A short, fast. Someone in with cloaks? Cloak. Yes, no. someone who Have you seen someone that? becloaked with you daggers? You know what was unusual is that I did... Zup came by to visit us. Oh. Um, and he never wears black. And he was wearing the big hood, which was kind of unusual. And But uh, luckily underneath, uh-huh. same old Zup with all the colors. Zup, of course, yeah. He's yeah. so colorful. What was he yeah. uh, doing here? What was he looking for? Uh, he was asking some questions about the mine. The mine? Where's the mine? North of town. There's an abandoned jade mine. And mm. she oh, was like, oh, would you like to know? Because... She turns around and points on her wall is a beautiful map of the surrounding of Illyria. Oh, no, 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 it's not a game anymore. It's, it's alive. Game. And as she points to this Merc. spectacular. Is that green? Oh. 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 It's all right. Pass it this way. And Excellent. yeah, That's for you. she pulls you over towards the wall where she has a lovely map of the surrounding nice. of Elyrin and some quick pointy point point. So here are oh, the town. Ah. Right. You heard the river as you approached. There's a mine up here. Oh, okay. Ah. There's some estates on the map, and then there's some other Ooh. interesting. Mount Titans. Yeah, uh, What's this? The Grove. Pyramid, upside down pyramids. Oh, that's what ah. right. Oh, okay. Oh, so we climbed up there. Yeah. Right. Okay. We've come quite some ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love this game together. There. Spectacular. Round of applause. Oh. Well done. Very well done. Very well done. 
test taking. Okay. Damn. So everyone is, I mean, everyone can look, but some of you are not here, but everyone can look. Oh. And <laughs> you're such a great <laughs> boss. You didn't lie. Yuck. <laughs> okay, so the, so the two of you are here as as Jenny continues to talk to you. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it's just, just north, so northeast, I guess. But there was a, a jade quarry in the mountains, and yeah. Ah. Just if you go around the lake, um, I know occasionally there's actually some traffic that way because um, there's lots of people traveling back and forth to all of the estates. Why? Uh, why was the mine abandoned? They so got all the easy to reach jade out, I guess. Oh. Did most of that jade it? go towards the incredible statue in the middle of the... Sky? It went to everything. Okay. Elrond's been famous for a long time for jade, so we put what? jade in all sorts of our things. You'll notice that um, if you had, Kleva had a brooch, she's got the little jade dragon eyes that yes, we made noticed. Yeah, absolutely. What, uh, who owns the mine? Uh, the town of Elrond. Oh, okay. No one specific? Not anymore. It's all property. Once the jade had been mostly taken out, they just assigned it to the city. So does Zap uh, head to that mine at all, or regularly, or...? Well, he was asking about lots of questions about it. How often people go there, if, if I know if anyone goes there. Hmm. Um, you know, just general sort of... Those questions. It curious. felt a bit unusual, because I have never really had a long conversation with him, but it was good. Mm. Yeah, okay. And did he, uh, did he get anything from you before he left? Any... Equipment? New equipment, perchance? No, he took a sharpening stone, just purchased a small one. Oh. Sharpening stone. You know, okay. kind of a common small purchase. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Great. You're pondering the map, and then you're outside in the street still with the thinker. Yeah. Uh, Something's hidden in one. Sometimes, uh, drinking things is easy in the moment, but it gets difficult later. Do you have anything that I may eat? That will make it easier now. I mean, uh, I got I got a lot of uh, apple pies, not an apple pie, like a little turnover pie, because that's I got lots of those. Let me try this turnover pie. And he brings you out one, but while he's still like, because he grabs it off the shelf, but you guys are in the open doorway of his shop, and he's just looking over across the street, just like. I just like while 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 he's like staring daggers, he's gazing offering. over there. I'm just, <laughs> it is delicious. Um, and he's like, yeah, you know what I think she also did? There, someone totally picked all the apples off my trees. Who would do such a thing? Right? And there was a whole bunch of like, just, I don't even know, some quarters of dust, like rock dust all around. So like the boot prints oh. all around the trees were just full of this like dusty rock. Oh, the nerve. It's obviously, obviously Jenny. <laughs> What, um, what kind of rocks? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a rockologist. I, how would I know that stuff? I, look, a big pies. I and my big goddamn good pies. I come from a place where there are giants, and sometimes giants throw rocks. And in order to know which giant threw that rock so that you may go and kill them as they sleep, He's not listening would, to you at all. He's totally just like staring at We would look the at the type of rock, the color of the rock, the shape of the rock. <laughs> and is it smooth or is it rough and rock-like? This continues, <laughs> but we cut back <laughs> quickly here. Jenny says, the last thing I have to tell you uh, yes, is if you do go to the mine, yeah. I'm sure the gods will take you in a quick cart ride if you want to go anywhere because... Um, of course, we've heard about the heroes of Elyrin in town, and oh. people are here to help you. Right. So if you have stuff to do and you need something done, I'm sure the gods can take you if you also want to go take a look at it. But I have to warn you, like I told Zup, it's haunted. Oh, haunted. great. Um, is that a rumor? Or is yes, that a sure. confirmed kind of thing? Absolutely. I just know the rumor that it's haunted. Rumor. rumor. How long standing is that rumor? Was always known. Everyone talks about it. Uh, Still to this day? Haunted by what? She doesn't have any more to tell you. And we're gonna get you guys all back together. Okay, don't drink the water. Next time! No! Hey! What? Oh, that is so it's funny. already over? I can't even believe it! So what? Fast. Oh, that goes by way too fast. That's crazy. Oh my god. 
I wanted to play with the flower more. I know. <laughs> I know. I have so much that I'm going to do. Don't, it's my flower. You're not allowed to touch it anymore. It's not your There's flower. There's so many interesting things to do. Yeah, we don't know I whose flower it is. But I took it and I've cared for it. I and he threw it against the fucking wall. I'm not going to trust anybody over here with this. It, it's clearly not a real flower. Yeah. It yeah. makes it 